Bennett Academy at home at Benedictine for the first time this year, facing the Maroons of Moline. The Red Wings won this matchup 28-14 in the Quad Cities a year ago. Moline on the move in the opening quarter with a great play design. Abu Bakar Barry hands off to Jaheem Mitchell, who races up the middle for the game's opening touchdown, 6-0 after a failed extra point. After a Bennett touchdown pass from Colin Gillespie to Jonathan Martin, Red Wings march down the field as Gillespie finds Lucas Kazaba for a big chunk of yards. Midway through the second quarter, Gillespie takes the snap and races towards the end zone. The senior gets the ball across, but his nose smashes against the Moline defender. Bennett up 14-6, but Gillespie is out for the game. Under a minute left in the half, 4th and 14 for Moline at the Bennett 35. Zidane Sterling rolls right and heaves a pass deep to Nate Johnson. A shocking turn at the half as the Maroons trail 14-13. Third quarter, Michael O'Connor into the game for Bennett and the senior does not miss a beat. A great throw under pressure and a nice snag from tight end Jacob Snell to put the Red Wings inside the five-yard line. O'Connor takes it from there, scampering wide to extend the B.A. lead 21-13. Moline not giving up, Obubakar Barry gets the handoff and breaks free for 33 of 153 yards on the night, all the way down for the touchdown. The extra point is blocked, Maroons down 2, 21-19. But in the fourth, Bennett able to respond. Michael O'Connor calls his own number and takes it up the middle for the score. The Red Wings hold on from there to take the 28-19 victory and a 2-0 start on the season. I was fortunate enough to get a couple of run plays, which I've never really done before. Um, you know, I was just trying to get the job done and not make any mistakes. I think we did all we all did pretty well leading up to it. Um, that play in particular, I don't know. I just like kind of, I was running around the end, and uh, a guy was chasing after me, and I kind of landed on him. So uh, it was just like a kind of a fluke thing. So yeah. Uh, me personally, I've never really like I, like in the past years, I don't really run very often, but they put it in the offense for Colin. And when he got hurt, they just said they're going to run the same place because it, it was working. So we just stuck with it and it worked out. They knew I was going to be out for the rest of the game at the, end of, at the second half. So we knew Osi was going to be in. He was going to get the full reps. So um, he did a hell of a job. But he did so great. And I'm really proud of him.